Are you craving a trip on Space Mountain? Well, we've got the next best thing. Welcome to Disney Coast to Coast. Hey folks, and welcome to Disney Coast Coast, the ultimate unofficial Disney fan podcast. I'm Jeff DePauly, and welcome to the House of Mouse headlines for the week of April 26th, 2020, brought to you by LaughingPlace.com, your up-to-date resource for the latest Disney news every day of the week. In this week's news, lots for Star Wars fans to celebrate, another chance to sing along, a different kind of princess film coming to Disney+, and more. So let's get to it. Hear the latest news from the Walt Disney Company in today's House of Mouse headlines. First up this week is a fairly odd story out of Southern California. On April 19th, Anaheim police arrested an 18-year-old man after he allegedly broke into Disney California Adventure and was caught in the Avengers Campus construction site. He was arrested, cited for trespassing, and then released. Officers believe that the man was attempting to steal construction items and equipment. Hey, at least he wasn't vlogging, right? The latest entry into Disney's designer ear hat collection arrived earlier this week, but promptly sold out. That's likely because this particular set was created by fan favorite Walt Disney Imagineer Joe Rohde. The ears featured compasses with specific coordinates on each, one bearing the longitude and latitude for Exhibition Everest at Disney's Animal Kingdom in Walt Disney World, and the other noting the coordinates of the real Mount Everest. Additionally, the design incorporated aviator goggles to fit the Explorer theme. Sadly, as I mentioned, these limited edition hats have sold out on Shop Disney, but several have resurfaced on sites like eBay, if you really want to pay exorbitant prices for a pair of your own. With the COVID-19 pandemic still impacting countries around the world, you probably won't be surprised to hear that Adventures by Disney has canceled several more itineraries through June 30th. What might surprise you, though, is that they've also announced some new offerings for 2021. Next year, Adventures by Disney guests will have the opportunity to explore extraordinary new destinations and reimagined itineraries, including those in New Zealand, Portugal, and a tour of Grand Europe that features England, France, and Italy. Meanwhile, travels to Australia, Central Europe, and Ecuador will include some new elements. Advanced booking for these itineraries will begin May 12th, 2020 for all previous adventures by Disney guests, with general bookings following on May 19th, 2020. There may not be a Star Wars movie coming out this year, but you can still spend your summer exploring a galaxy far, far away thanks to two new reference books due out in June. First up, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Traveler's Guide to Batu will return readers to Black Spire Outpost, where smugglers, bounty hunters, and rogue adventurers swap stories, food, and goods. This official guide to the fictional planet represented in Disney Park's Star Wars-themed lands will lead you through your next visit with recommendations on where to eat, shop, and sightsee during your trip. Then, Star Wars Book of Lists takes a fascinating look at the galaxy far, far away through trivia from both on-screen and off, spanning all nine movies. This book serves as a compendium of fun and compelling facts about everyone's favorite space saga, delivered across 100 unique lists covering characters, creatures, ships, planets, and more. Both of these books are written by Cole Horton, author of Star Wars Absolutely Everything You Need to Know, and will be released on Tuesday, June 23rd. Elsewhere in the Star Wars galaxy, this week it was reported that a new Star Wars series was being developed for Disney+. According to Variety, Leslie Headland, co-creator of the hit Netflix series Russian Doll, has been tapped to helm the show. No plot details have been announced for the new series at this time, but reports suggest that it will be female-centric and will take place in a different part of the Star Wars timeline from other projects. If it does go forward, this would presumably be the fourth live-action Star Wars series, followed by The Mandalorian, as well as the untitled Obi-Wan Kenobi series and untitled Cassian Andor series that have already been announced. Speaking of The Mandalorian, although the second season of the hit show won't arrive until this fall, it seems that a third season is already in development. This week, Variety reported that pre-production, such as production design, for a third season had already begun, while showrunner Jon Favreau has apparently been writing it for a while now. Fans will also be glad to hear that Season 2 had reportedly wrapped before the pandemic shutdown of most productions, so with any luck, there should be new episodes of The Mandalorian on Disney Plus this October. 
Earlier this month, ABC aired a special titled The Disney Family Sing-Along, featuring performances from stars like Ariana Grande, Disney legend Christina Aguilera, Darren, Chris, and even Beyonce singing some of their favorite Disney tunes from the safety of their home. Well, if you missed the broadcast, there's good news as you can now watch the entire show on Disney+. Plus. While the celebrities may be the main draw, each performance also features on-screen lyrics and the iconic bouncing Mickey head to help you... Well, sing along. So if you're looking for a little break from the monotony of quarantine, why not fire up Disney Plus and give this special a shot? I especially enjoyed the performances from Donny Osmond, Jordan Fisher, and the past and present cast of High School Musical. Let's just get this out of the way now. Inconceivable! Yes, the infinitely quotable fairy tale classic The Princess Bride is coming to Disney+. Plus. The announcement was made earlier this week in a video featuring stars Robin Wright and Carrie Elwes. By the way, no, the film was not originally released by Disney, but by 20th Century Fox, which now makes it part of the Disney library. In any case, if you're still wondering who Inigo Montoya is or why people are asking if anybody wants a peanut, do yourself a favor and stream The Princess Bride on Disney+, Plus starting on May 1st. For those with loved ones who don't yet have Disney+, Plus, gifting them a subscription will be a bit more difficult for the time being. That's because Disney has announced that it has temporarily halted the sale of Disney Plus gift cards. The website that handled these sales was actually operated by a third party and had been experiencing issues they're now working to address. In the meantime, regular Disney Plus subscriptions, including the bundle with Hulu and ESPN+, Plus, are still available on DisneyPlus.com and include a 7-day free trial. Last week I shared that the Walt Disney Family Museum was offering a series of virtual presentations. Now they've added to the list with the latest round featuring the likes of past Disney Coast to Coast guest Don Hahn, as well as author Marcy Carricker Smother. These Happily Ever After Hours events will take place over on Zoom, with free registration required, meaning that space is limited. However, the museum will also be launching a Wonderful Women of Disney Virtual Spotlight talk series, with those broadcasting on Facebook Live and available to all. For more information on these offerings and more, be sure to visit WaltDisney.org or Facebook.com slash WDF Museum. And finally this week, Disney Theatrical Productions has announced that they are now offering a virtual version of their youth curriculum, The Lion King Experience, to everyone for free. The Lion King Experience is a unique holistic arts education program that provides students and educators an immersive introduction to theater making through the lens of the Broadway production of The Lion King. The web-based multimedia curriculum was originally designed for the classroom as an enhancement for schools producing kids and junior adaptations of The Lion King, but now with new step-by-step -step instructions, students can explore the full experience at home. For more information on the program, visit lionkingexperience.com. That's going to do it for the news this week, so let's get to this week's Twitter poll where I asked you folks, since the Jungle Cruise movie ended up getting bumped to a 2021 release date, would you rather wait and see it on the big screen or just have it released on Disney Plus this year? Your options were big screen in 2021, Disney Plus in 2020, or I don't plan on seeing it. 6% of you said you don't plan on seeing it, with 44% saying they want it on Disney Plus this year, and 50% of you want it to go to the big screen in 2021, so the majority of you are happy. Do you agree with these results? Cast your vote in the Twitter poll every week by following Disney CTC on Twitter. That's D-I-Z-N-E-Y-C-T-C. If you haven't yet listened to this past Wednesday's episode of Disney Coast to Coast, be sure to tune in as I spoke with Disney legend and voice of Goofy, Bill Farmer, about his brand new series coming to Disney Plus called It's a Dog's Life. And on this upcoming Wednesday's episode, I have a conversation with a Disneyland parade performer all about the new Magic Happens Parade. Don't miss any of it by subscribing to Disney Coast to Coast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and more. And if you'd like to gain some DCTC bonuses, be sure to check out what's available over at Patreon.com slash Disney CTC. That's P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash D-I-Z-N-E-Y-C-T-C. Other than that, folks, have a magical day. Bye! Thanks for listening to Disney Coast to Coast. Have a magical day! <laughs> Disney Coast to Coast is produced and hosted by Jeff DePauly. Learn more about the podcast and become a supporter at DisneyCoastToCoast.com.